Welcome back to PSC Stack Bytes. Today we keep on talking about using bicep templates inside Azure DevOps pipelines. And I want to show you how you can define output parameters in a bicep template so that you can retrieve those output parameter values inside the pipeline and use them in order to provide additional arguments to the tasks inside your pipeline definition. So let me switch to the demo environment and let me show you how to do that in action. So here I am in Azure DevOps and I have a bicep template that I defined. In this template, I have a few input parameters like the location, the resource prefix, as like as it was in the previous episode. And then I'm going to create a bunch of Azure resources. First of all, I create a storage account, then an application inside, then an app service plan, which I will use for an Azure function. And as such, we can then create an Azure function with a specific function app name. The Azure function will rely on the application insight that we just created. And then we get as an output parameter, as you can see here with this syntax output and the name and the type. And we provide a value for the output parameter, which will be function app URL, as well as function app a name to get the name of the just created function app. Then I want to create a service bus. And the overall idea is that I'm going to use the service bus from the Azure function app. So I will need to create the service bus. And I will also need to grant permissions to the managed identity of the function app in order to access the service bus and to send messages in a queue of the service bus. So here I define a couple of variables for the service bus itself and I create an instance of the service bus and I store in yet another output variable called Azure service bus namespace, the actual namespace of the service bus that I just created. Then I also create a queue in the service bus so that I can use it for enqueuing messages, ideally in my hypothetical architecture. Then in the pipeline, what we do is we define, as like as it was in the previous episode, the first section where we use the Azure CLI version 2 to provision the bicep template. So here we do the AZ deployment group create. We provide the resource group name, the name of the template file and a bunch of parameters, which include the prefix that we were waiting for in the deployment. And we can configure this as a variable inside the pipeline. Then we have another task, which will be still an Azure CLI, CLI version 2 here, where we extract the output. In order to extract the output, we get a reference to the deployment that we just executed by providing the resource group name and the deployment name. And then we access the properties of the uh, output of the uh, deployment. Just to give you an idea, here in uh, the Azure Management Portal, I already have the deployment uh, uh, executed by the uh, pipeline and I have uh, the resources created. I can, for example, use uh, the following syntax to show you that by doing az deployment group show providing the name of the uh, resource group and the name of the deployment and converting the output from json into an object we can then access this object this complex object and we can access for example the properties of this object and inside the properties we will have an output uh, uh, property which will give us all of the values of the output uh, variables as the result of my bicep template. So here and going back to the uh, YAML uh, pipeline we can simply get all of them and by going through all of them we can use this special syntax of the Azure DevOps pipeline where we say that in the Azure DevOps pipeline we want to set a variable of the current task. The name of the variable will be the actual name of the property in the output. It is an output value of my uh, task and this will be the actual value of the uh, variable that I'm going to set. Then I also define a name for my task so that later on inside the pipeline, I can always reference the uh, task 
and the output variables of the tasks by name. So for example, and again, in my output in the Azure deployment, I had the function app name or the Azure service bus namespace output. And here I can say, give me from the bicep output, the Azure service bus namespace, or give me the function app name. What do I do with that? Well, basically I get the namespace ID using AZ service bus namespace, and I create a managed identity for my function app using the AZ function app identity assign command, CLI command. I provide the resource group name and the name of the function app. Then I provide uh, the request to get back the principal ID of the uh, managed identity so that I can then use, still using Azure CLI, AZ role assignment create, and I will assign a role to this principal ID, which is the one of my function app, and the role will be Azure Service Bus Data Sender, so that in this specific service bus namespace, I will grant the permission and the role to my managed identity of the function app to send messages to the queue. And in fact, if I go back to the Azure portal, we can see that the Azure function app inside the identity section does have a managed identity configured for it. And in fact, here we see that here we have a managed identity with the principal ID specific to this managed identity. And if we go to the service bus, and we go to the access control of the service bus, we can see under role assignment that we have the Azure service bus data sender role assigned to the managed identity of my Azure function. So, as I said, you can easily play with an Azure DevOps pipeline, you can execute a bicep template, and you can retrieve a bunch of output variables that you can use later on inside the pipeline. Like always, thank you for watching this video. I hope you found it interesting and I'm really looking forward to seeing you next week. Thank you.